New Mexico State University holds its first ever research rally. The rally honors NMSU faculty and staff for their recent grant to find better ways to grow and refine algae into jet fuel. NMSU chemical engineer professor Xu Gun Dang is thrilled the university received a more than $2 million grant from the U.S. Air Force to find better ways to turn algae into jet fuel. It's, it's not only I think important for the Air Force, it's, it's going to be important for the whole country. Dang expects he and his students will produce a minimum of one liter of biojet fuel in the next year for the Air Force to test in planes. After one year, at the end of this project, we should know uh, if it is feasible to produce biojet fuel from algae. NMSU professor Peter Lammers believes turning algae into fuel is not only important for the environment and national security, but it could be a big boom for local agriculture as well. We have a, a $45 million proposal into USDA to begin to develop those types of uh, algal agronomics and bankable business plans um, and then in, invoke the uh, existing agricultural extension service to deliver those technologies to uh, farmers and ranchers in the desert southwest. According to Lammers, in five to seven years, local ag and range lands could be converted to grow large amounts of algae to then be converted into fuel. Really this is analogous to the switch from you know burning wood to burning coal uh, in, the, in the late 1700s and early 1800s that fueled the Industrial Revolution. Because biofuel could be a game changer, Lammers thinks the U.S. must act immediately to develop technology. Otherwise, other countries, particularly in Asia, will jump out in front and reap the economic benefits. If we don't, other countries will, and we will lose our advantage unless we are um, keenly aware of the international competitiveness of this area. A competitiveness Professor Chu Gondang is aware of, and he's proud his students will be leading the world to help develop biojet fuel. So this is a good, good opportunity for them to work on a real world problem, and it's a very challenging one. And we do have, uh, I think, more than 20 students will be involved in the project. Quite honest to be, you know, we are the leader, I think, in this field. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.